Maurizio is the heir apparent to the Gucci throne. He is uh, first in line in the succession. Um, and really someone who is focused on, on taking Gucci into the modern age as well. Different, you know, I think Paolo thinks about it from a creative point of view and, and Maurizio is a, thinking about it from a growth and a, a, maybe a strategic point of view. Um, but they couldn't be more different. I mean, uh, I see Maurizio as someone who's very stoic and in control, uh, very analytical, very cerebral, and, and, and Paolo is, you know, a guttural person. He's, he's, he's passionate, he's full of life and energy and um, very physical and, uh, yeah, they, 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 they're two sides of a coin, for sure. Aldo is really the driving force behind a lot of the Gucci expansion. Rodolfo was a movie star uh, in his time, and uh, but really Aldo was the one that was pushing things to um, to the modern age, and you know he played the family like uh, like a chess game. You know, he was really methodical and at times maybe even a little manipulative um, in the way that he handled uh, the sons, the cousins, the family. Uh, and, you know, there was a battle for control. Paolo, Maurizio, Aldo, Rodolfo, everyone was fighting for power. And ultimately, You have one side of the family that wins and another that loses. It's a family that's, you know, filled with dysfunction, uh, a family that had a lot at stake, and uh, but also, you know, a really vibrant, creative family, and that was super ambitious and, you know, built this incredible empire. This is a, a film that, that's, it's not, it's, it's really, yeah, it takes place in the world of fashion, but it's a film that's about family. It's about power, it's about betrayal, it's about loyalty, it's about, uh, it's about a lot of things, uh, and, 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 and certainly fashion is one of those things. Uh, but I was really surprised, shocked by the story. I never, I didn't know anything about it until I read the script. And, you know, I, th I think a lot of people would be very surprised. Those Gucci loafers are gonna take on a whole new meaning. Yeah, the physical transformation in Paolo was uh, was incredible. It was really like uh, I, I just have a lot of gratitude to be able to dive in this way, to take to take to make this kind of commitment, and you know, I had a just a terrific team. Uh, with makeup and hair and really just gave us a beautiful gift. Janti is a, a legend and I knew I was in great hands and I told her from the very beginning, like, you know, I'm, I'm so happy to be here with you. The only thing I would ask is let's just go nuts. Let's just go crazy. Let's take the gloves off. And, uh, you know, I always thought that Paolo was someone who celebrated color and, and took chances in terms of fashion and his style. He was a bit of a dandy. And, you know, uh, Janti just really did, she made miracles happen.
shooting in Italy was, you have to do it there. It's like, um, you know, you couldn't have made Taxi Driver in Hoboken, right? There are some things you just, you know, a casino's got to be in Vegas. I guess you could be in Atlantic City, but, you know, this film had to be. It's an, it, you, there's so much of the environment, the hearing the voices, um, you know, the accent, the dialogue, it was so important. And I was surrounded by Italians who were so generous and uh, gracious with their time and energy. And, um, you know, I had a lot of great teachers. I hope that when audiences see this film that they're reminded of the magic of cinema. I hope that they, you know, cozy up into a, a big dark theater with a tub of popcorn and, uh, and they go on a ride. And they get to know characters that they didn't know existed before. They go to a place they never really have been and you know they they are surprised and delighted they laugh maybe they cry uh, and they have a really fulfilling and rich experience you know we've all been away from cinema for a long time and I'm happy to be part of a movie that I think is meant to be experienced that way. Gucci is just one of those names that captures the imagination in a way. It's, uh, you know, they've so many times in the history of that company, they've been creative leaders, they've been rule breakers, they've been, um, they've set the standard for quality and uh, luxury. It's an aspirational brand, a brand that really certainly in recent times has done a great job breaking rules and um, showing us the possibilities of, you know, fashion and and brand in general. Um, you know, I, I'm lucky because I not only get to be in the house of Gucci, but I work with a brand as well. And, you know, they're, my personal experience with them is that they're just a, the most wonderful group of people. Um, and I'm, I'm really fortunate to, I've been able to work with them for so many years.